Hey folks, the Tears of the Kingdom gameplay session with Eiji Aonuma showed off Link's new hand abilities in full, or at least some of them. Some of which had been outright shown in trailers prior, and others actually offered an answer to mysteries in trailers prior, such as what the self-dubbed Zonai Gloop is. At the time, we were trying to figure out what it was. We now know it is a part of the Ultra Hand ability. The four new abilities shown off in the gameplay were very cool, and I can't wait to try them out, but it's actually not too unlikely that there could be more hand abilities in the game. I want to discuss some ideas, as I'd say this is a fair guess to make. Foreshadowing. I do believe Nintendo are keeping some more hand abilities a secret for us to discover when playing the game ourselves. Surely they wouldn't show off everything in that regard in the gameplay session. There's gotta be some surprises, right? And keep in mind, these are purely ideas that I think would be cool. Nothing here is fact. With that said, let's go over some ideas for possible hand abilities beyond the recently shown off Recall Fuse, Ultra Hand, and Ascend abilities in Tears of the Kingdom. Now, mid-production of this video, gameplay previews dropped from various creators. In these previews, we saw a wheel that shows off the hand abilities. I discussed multiple ideas in this video, and given there is only one more slot, it's possible that there will only be one more slot for these ideas. So think of this like one of these could be that mysterious empty slot. Heck, there could even be an upgrade to allow more slots. I don't know. With that said, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to do so, as the game is almost out. And I am going to have so many awesome videos. You'd make my day and put a big cheesy smile on my face. I'd appreciate it so much. And we can't forget, be sure to go and grab yourself a snack or drink and send them in to get featured right here. And let's get into this one. Underwater exploration is something that a large percentage of fans would love to see return myself included. This mechanic was such a cool and honestly big part of past Zelda games, from Ocarina of Time and the Iron Boots to my personal favourite Twilight Princess, where we swim to the depths of Lake Hylia and even battle against a giant boss fully submerged. Skyward Sword also had some very stunning swimming, just so I don't forget to mention that game. It was almost a bit surprising that Breath of the Wild didn't include some form of this, but the game was massive at the end of the day, and went through a few delays, as well as wasn't developed for the Switch to begin with. Perhaps it just wouldn't have worked well. However, Tears of the Kingdom has hinted at it possibly returning twice. Firstly, in the recent gameplay session when Link is briefly below the water and the Ascend ability recognised this, as well as in the final game trailer where Link briefly floats inside this bubble. This is a lot of copium, but I am going to use it. It's definitely not a certainty yet, but I am very hopeful that it makes a return. The ability to just dive into the water, or even dive under once already in there, would open up the exploration and expansion of this new version of Hyrule massively. And with Link's new helping hand providing new abilities, an idea I thought of was some sort of swimming ability. Perhaps something that would allow him to extend his breath whilst beneath the waves and swimming around. Maybe even similar to how these Zonai batteries drain. Just with this, it would be coming directly from the hand. Another cool idea would be that the hand actually allows Link to swim at a much greater speed. As ridiculous as this might sound, a sort of propeller to speed him up. This would also be limited by a battery or time limit of some sorts. One other idea for how this could work is actually just forming a bubble around him to allow him to breathe freely. Honestly, I could see any of these working well. Just please allow us to swim beneath the waves of Hyrule once again. Whilst I myself have thalassophobia, I oddly love swimming beneath the waves in Zelda games. As terrifying as it sounds, some boss battles deep below would be insanely cool. Bring back the Big Octo. Prior to Tears of the Kingdom, or back in the day Breath of the Wild 2, concept art from Breath of the Wild was shown off by the developers. Some very interesting concepts we saw were Link with a missing or corrupted arm, as well as a broken Master Sword. Hmm, I mean, it makes sense considering Tears of the Kingdom was to some degree born from DLC ideas for Breath of the Wild. I wouldn't say it's far-fetched at all to say that this old concept was also brought into the mix during the development of the sequel. Anyway, the arm idea back then was a bit different. It was more of a Sheikah Tech looking arm, and it showed us some very interesting ideas. A claw arm, a hookshot arm, 
a remote beadle, a cannon, a hammer, and a bow and arrow combo. To a degree, we've seen some of these in a different form. In the second trailer for the game as well as the gameplay session, we see the arm having an influence on archery with the fuse ability. The cannon idea looks to be a new item in itself, but the general idea here is that we might still be to see one or more of these ideas in Tears of the Kingdom. They're definitely not primary abilities like the others already showing off, and would be more of an extra. I think it would be incredibly cool if we saw the hammer ability brought into the game. I really loved items such as the Megaton Hammer back in Ocarina of Time. It's a simple, but yet awesome item that opened up the option for fun puzzles. Not just that, but a pretty badass weapon to pull out when your opponent draws a blade. Nah me. sit down. Just imagine if Link could pull that move but through his arm, forming a Zonai powered hammer to flatten his enemies. Tears of the Kingdom has a massive emphasis on creativity and doing things differently. Giving Link a hammer to whack and smack would be very fun. It could also be a part of exploring and or accessing certain parts of the underground, breaking down walls to enter caves or access larger areas whilst exploring beneath Hyrule. The possibilities are crazy here. I'd also really love to see abilities bring back the claw shot item. I loved the claw shot and double claw shots back in the day. Technically speaking, any item could be tied into this, so I won't list off everything that I believe would work, and leave it here. Traversing the sky will be a big part of this game, and Nintendo have told us that there will be multiple ways to do so, from using recall to get up there, as well as other methods we don't know of yet, to gliding from island to island, to this epic glider that we'll be able to use for larger stretches of the sky traversal. However, there is a wild idea that I have for the hand. A free flying ability. I know that sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. This would 100% be a late game or even post game reward, similar to how the Master Cycle Zero was in Breath of the Wild. It is exactly what I said it is, an ability to allow Link to free fly himself everywhere. This idea is inspired by an ability in Mario Galaxy, which allowed Mario to do exactly that. As a kid when I first played Mario Galaxy, and discovered this ability, I loved it so much but wish there was more to do with it. Tears of the Kingdom could take that sort of idea and go absolutely wild with it. Just imagine literally flying completely free as just Link. This would be described as simply magic. The hand would just be that powerful that Link can fly. Last, but certainly not least, a torch. Bit anticlimactic, right? Well, just you wait until you're down in these deep, dark underground sections and can't figure out how to light the place up. Oh, I guess that's how you do it. However, I'm not going to rule out the possibility of a hand ability being a big, bright torch for exploring the underground. Perhaps like the last idea, this would be something we'd get later in the game to avoid making it, you know, a, a bit too easy. <coughs> Filthy casuals. <coughs> a bit too early. This recently released Tears of the Kingdom ad showed us a very intriguing gameplay clip of the underground. It's nearly pure darkness down here, and Link shoots a fused arrow that lights up the section of this area. This is clearly one way of lighting the place up, and probably going to be our main way at least early on. Link only has four hearts here, so this is likely very early in the game. It may also be that these large bulb tree things can be activated to brighten up the whole of these areas, but that is purely speculation. Regardless, a cool ability that I'd love to see is the hand acting as a torch. Quite literally, just getting brighter and lighting the way. This would work well in the smaller, more narrow caves in particular. The cave boys need a way to see, and this could be one of them. I guess we'll see, but as somebody obsessed with the caves and underground sections of this game, it's an idea I couldn't not mention. Anything and everything feels possible with this game, and I am extremely excited for every crazy and out of world part of that. It's all been building up to things like this. It's been building up to moments like this since 2019. At the time of uploading, we are around two weeks away. Ah, <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Let me know what you thought of these ideas, and or any ideas of your own that you'd like to see in the game. If you enjoyed and want to be a legend, then be sure to drop a wee like down below. And if you are buzzing for Tears of the Kingdom just like me, then consider subscribing. I've got tons more fabulous Zelda content all the way up to the release of the game and beyond. I've linked my socials below if you'd like to send in a snack or drink photo, and as always, a huge massive amazing shout out goes to all of my channel supporters. With a very special shout out to new supporter, Beck of the Wild. 
Thanks a ton! Your support really helps me to make these videos week in, week out, all month long, 365 days a year. If you'd like to join them, get yourself a share upon joining, a cool badge next to your name in my comments sections, access to exclusive channel emotes if you join via YouTube, as well as your name at the end of every video, then consider supporting via the links below. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day or night, and until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.